In this video, we will tackle a function problem. The question is about the function f of x plus y over x equals x to the third plus y over x to the third, where x is now equal to zero. Then what is the f of x? To solve this problem, we have two main steps. First, we'll find out what is the expression for the function. Second, we'll identify the domain of the function, which is a part people often overlook. So let's start with figuring out what is f of x. Because here we have x to the third, here we have x to the third, so we're going to use this formula. That's a to the third plus b to the third, then equals a plus b times a squared minus ab and plus b squared. So now let's start from the function. Then here, given f of x plus 1 over x equals x to the third plus 1 over x to the third, we can put as 1 over x then to the third. So now we can apply this formula. It equals x plus 1 over x times x squared minus x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. Let's simplify this part. Then here, x squared plus 1 over x squared. Then here, x and x canceled. So here, just minus 1. Next, we want to work on the second part. Because here, we have x plus 1 over x. So we are hoping here, we have something like this. So here, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared. To make it complete square, we plus 2. Then we minus 2. Then minus 1. So now let's see these three terms. So these three terms can make a complete square, which is x plus 1 over x, the whole thing squared. Then combine these two. That's minus 3. Now you see we have x plus 1 over x. We have the same thing here. So now let's expand the product. So here we have x plus 1 over x to the third. Then minus 3 times x plus 1 over x. So now let's use t. So now let the t equals this part, x plus 1 over x. Then use t replace this part from here and also here and here. So then we have f of t equals t to the third here, then minus 3t. So that's expression for the function. Now we need to figure out what is the domain of the function. So now let's go back to the beginning. You see here, this one is given. x is now equal to 0. This is now the domain of the function. This one just guaranteeing the bottom of the fraction is now 0. Then what is the domain of the function f? So here, domain of the function just represent all the possible values of t, so the function is defined. So because t is equals x plus 1 over x, so now let's start from here. Okay, here, x plus 1 over x, that's t. Because here, x is not equal to 0. Then here, let's consider two cases. The first one, x is bigger than 0. So then here, we're going to use amgm inequality. So then amgm inequality, just one, a and b are bigger than zero. So then the arithmetic uh, average, a plus b divided by two 
is bigger than or equal to square root of a times b. Okay, so now let's start from here. Then here, x plus 1 over x. Based on this uh, AMGM inequality, so x plus 1 over x is bigger than or equal to 2 times square root x plus 1 over x. The x, x cancel, just a square root of 1. So here, x plus 1 over x is bigger than or equal to 2. Because this part is t, then we get t is bigger than or equal to 2. That's the first part. Now let's see the second case. Second case, when x is less than 0. In here, x is less than 0. We also start from here. Then x plus 1 over x. Because whole thing is negative, so then if outside we put a negative, then we can do this. We can do negative x, then plus negative 1 over x. So now this one is a positive, this one is a positive. So then we can use the AMGM inequality also. So then here, just bigger than or equal to 2 times square root negative x times negative 1 over x. Then they cancel just 1. So we get negative x plus 1 over x here. Then this one is bigger than or equal to 2 because this one is 1. Then solve for x plus 1 over x. Both sides have negative 2, negative 1. So x plus 1 over x when both sides of the inequality times the negative number, so change the direction of the inequality. So here just less than equal to negative 2. But again, this part is t. So then we have t is less than or equal to negative 2. So now combine the first part and the second part together. So this is the first part t is bigger than or equal to 2. So this is the second part. So combine them together. So we get t is less than or equal to negative 2, or t is bigger than or equal to 2. Because in mathematics, people prefer to use x for the single variable. So here for the function, we have to use x for t here, here, and here. So now let's see the summary. So then in summary, so here, then f of x equals x to the third minus 3x with a domain here, domain x less than equal to negative 2 or x is bigger than or equal to 2. So that is the answer for this question. Thanks for watching.